Hi everyone and welcome back. This is a new mini playlist and in this playlist we are talking about how we can deploy a React package, a Node.js package and Nest.js package to the GitHub. So we are going to create our private packages like a Node.js library package, React UI component package and Node.js utility package and then we are going to use those utility packages in the external projects. So this is a mini playlist because I wanted to cover all these things together. So there will be a couple of uh, videos in this. Hi everyone. So we have already seen how we can publish a React UI component package. And for Node.js also we have seen this video. We are talking about how you can publish a Nest.js package. So in the Nest.js there are three type of library and package we can create. I mean all are same but just a way of doing them is little different. First is a simple static reusable module okay then custom package this which is statically invoked and dynamic package which is i mean this is a custom package uh statically invoked and dynamic package asynchronously invoked there is only slight difference in these two simple static package you already know let's say i created a, a shared module which has one service and this is my shared module. Now, this module can be published as a package. And then, and I mean, it's not going to have a one method. You can have a 10, 10 or 20 reusable methods, which are being used across different projects. So I have one service, one module, which is a shared module. And now you can publish this as a Node.js, Nest.js package. And then that can be used like this. I have another like another application and here I can import shared module. So here you need to import shared module from the library to which you are going to publish. So this is my shared module from, let's say I will call it as a, because I'm publishing this library to my package. Right. This is the custom package I have created and I will be using like this, but uh, this is not the right way. I mean, you can, publish uh, shared modules like this some utility common utility helpers and then and then those helpers can be used across all the different projects the next thing is statically invoked project i mean this is the dynamic module this is a part of nest js dynamic modules which are statically invoked or asynchronously invoked let's say type or a module uh, I think every Nest.js developer knows how to use type ORM. Sometimes we do for root. Sometimes we do for root async. So somebody has created this type ORM module, published this is somewhere so that we can use in two different versions. This is statically invoked because here we are passing all the runtime configuration upfront. And this is for root async, which is a dynamic initialization of dynamic module where we are passing configurations from config module at runtime. So you need config module will be capturing all these values and feeding those things to the type or module. So what, what, what I really want, I also want to create a simple utility module, which I can use something like this. Shared module dot four root and here I, you can pass all the arguments. This is the one way or for root async like this, where you are defining a factory or for root async. This is my target. So first of all, we will talk about simple shared module and publish it. Then we will talk about shared module with for root And then shared module with for root async. I mean, there is not much difference in for root and for root async. Here, this is called dynamic module, which is asynchronously initialized. This is also dynamic module, but all the configurations we are passing right away. Okay. So these are three different ways in which we can create a module. And you can take a look onto the example of type ORM module. So if you see this type ORM module for root async, 
dynamically asynchronously invoked module and this is a for root for root we can see this is for root right so this is a sequelized module dot for root similarly type or a module dot for root and for root async for root async provides all different kind of configurations you can pass class class provider so if you see here for root async so we need to make a custom module which supports for root and for root async both i mean this is what you can decide i can have a module which supports this and there's both the methods okay so let's dive in we'll just create a shared module first so for that we'll go to the code and we need to change our branch first git checkout uh, first i will go to the node.js package and then git checkout nest.js package and i will merge okay node.js package into it i think this is already updated so this code we already have in our nest.js package let me close all it's the, it doesn't have many things we have only package json right package json already has a nest.js dependencies which we really wanted so i will just do source and here i can create a module let's say shared okay and then i will create a shared dot service dot ts shared dot module dot ts and then from this src i will be exposing index.ts and i will be importing only the service shared and then there is service and then let's create a service so let's keep it simple i want to create uh, just this service you can add many more methods next just common do we have nest just common already added common is there cannot find module corresponding type declarations we will see that and then this is the nest js module so let's add this is a shared module what i want is this is no dynamic configuration simple module which i wanted to use everywhere so shared service we have shared module and then here you can import shared service and shared module we are talking about shared dot module and we'll just export both of these this is what we are exporting from index.ts So what I can do is npm install again. We need to get rid of lock file also because I'm on a different branch. Okay, and I want my package name should be like nest.js ekz. Okay, starts with zero zero, and I will do npm install again. I remove the lock file and node modules. This folder also we don't need because these are from previous uh, video. I'm installing node.js common and all the dependencies we have then I can just uh, do a simple npm run build npm run test if we have so I think now the error should be gone okay next just common is there and service is there so this doesn't have anything right it has a one service so how you are going to use this module you are going to create another module like your application module where you are writing apis you will just import this shared module there which we have already seen like how to use this you will put a shared module and inside app service or user service or auth service in this whole uh, application you can use shared service because shared module is already added in the imports now shared service can be used this is how we 
create a feature module and use them across any other package. The only thing here we are doing is we are just putting this common shared module somewhere in the remote npm repo. Now uh, there is nothing much. We can just check if it builds. And we can just do npm publish. I just need to do a login for that. npm publish. Let's see if it works. Okay, this has been published, right? What it has published? Torball content. So if you see, we created a build file. This is what we are exporting. This is shared service shared module right so we should be including only the build content and all content we need to see what we are sending in the package so we need to see what we are building in the package so we need to i have added these files that these files should be published these files should be part of my final package which i'm publishing npm publish and i have changed the version So that is just a common reusable modules and you can see this is the this archive file which is created and it is exporting all these things and the main file is build index.js and typing is build index.d.ts so all these files are provided to the whoever is going to use this package so this fourth package is published next js package and this Earlier, there used to be a way to download this also without installing. But yeah, this is how you can install. Now, let's see more about uh, how we can create uh, dynamic modules in the Nest CS. So that we should cover in the next video.